Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we are working on Casa Granda and I'm going to work on the cover right now. So I've chosen this from the 12 by 12 collection pack as uh, the background for the, let me see, do I need to trim that down? Yes, I do. For, um, for the cover and then I've cut this out of one of the pages in the 12 by 12 collection to go here. You're right. I need to trim this down. Quite bit, actually. Hmm. I don't know how I'm so far off, but I was. Now we're back on track. I'm going to ink my edges really quick. So I was kind of anxious to get this down so I don't accidentally uh, use it in the wrong place. that into place. Now I have put some chipboard on the back of this because I wanted to elevate it slightly off the cover. And of course matted it with black. I'm just going to center it. Oops, it shifted a lot more than I wanted it to. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty much right on. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna press all this into place. And it looks a little off center and that's because the pattern is. So I made it square to the edge of the book. Okay, I haven't decided or not, but I'm going to reserve this strip for the side, but I'm not sure that's what I'm going to do with it at the moment. So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to line up my spine and the back, and I'll be right back. All right, I chose this beautiful pattern for the back and the spine, and part of the reason I, I chose it was to pull the pomegranate back in. So let's get it inked and lay it down. It's also very pretty. My ink pad is really juicy, so I gotta be careful not to make a mess.
Okay, so there we have it, the front, the spine, and the back. I think that looks beautiful. I'm going to burnish everything into place, and I'll be back soon. We'll continue working on the album. Okay, we're working on the inside cover, and I've chose these two patterns. And I've split them in half, so I'm going to have them match front and back. And I was just checking to make sure that... Um, they were going to fit and not be in the hinge, and they look good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. <clears throat> Not too much glue. That's all right. It's going to go here, and you can see there's a little gap, and I'm going to use this strip, which actually came off the edge of this pattern paper. And then here's our little contrast strip that we're going to put here. Does that look pretty? Let me make sure I inked it all the way around. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Now we're going to repeat that process over here. I do think I'm going to have to trim these down just a little bit because they're too, it looks like it's too close to the hinge area. So I'm going to trim a little bit off and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and get the second side in. Looking good. I'm not positive, but I think this is from the patterns and solids. Oh, actually, I mean, they call it background. <laughs> Working with staple, yeah, it's background pack. This is really pretty. I like it. It goes really nice with the tile. <clears throat> and here's our little strip that goes here. Need to add some ink. I was just making it match. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 
I had to look at the center part um, of both. Oh, I guess they are a little different. That's the flourish that you see here. <clears throat> Good enough. So there is the, so we've uh, completed the outside and now the inside liners. And so it'll be time to add our pages. Be back soon.